I really have, and I, I, I've tried to stay away from uh, uh, all interactions outside of just trying to help this team move on. I mean, um, I've got a couple hundred text messages and emails and calls, but outside of immediate family, um, I, I've gone into a pretty good bubble uh, with respect for the kids. I mean, my job is not complete. My job is here with those student athletes, and that's where I got to, you know, put it in there and say, hey, there'll be plenty of time to return phone calls and emails and texts and reflect back on uh, 10 years. But at this point in time, I think it's, it, it's, it's all about Donovan Fields and Marcellus and Cuba and, and, and the kids that uh, you know, it gave you your heart and soul and you say, hey, let's give it back to them and let's extend the season. I think those three guys uh, understand opportunity. And it's, it's kind of uh, one, one of the heartwarming part for me is just to see guys like that. And I think what they what they're passing on is, is hey, you know what? Don't don't take this for granted. Um, you know, my my time at Central Coast, I've never taken it for granted. I mean, I've worked every day with a with a passion and go like, this is precious. And I and I think they've done that. They've taken that personality side of it. Like, hey, this is this is really really special to just to be able to work your ass off um, every single day. So I think that's really cool. Great. I'm sure it had some effect. It had effect on coaches. Um, so I'm sure it had effect on the players a little bit. But we, you know. Basketball is an analogy for life. It's a microcosm of life, and we, we've got to we've got to get moved past that, and uh, get ready to represent the community well, represent our school well, and uh, play a great game for Santa Barbara.